All right, so just to start, I know this video is a little bit late, but I really wanted to put together a 2019 top five moments of the year. We had a lot of awesome stuff happening. But before we do that, I just wanna say we posted about 30 videos this year, and that's not really a whole lot, but we did gain about 1,200 subscribers, so thank you guys. I really appreciate that a lot. And really this year, the goal is to post more videos and really get the ball rolling on this channel, start to see it grow a lot more. But with that, January is here, and the next couple months typically have pretty bad weather. January 1st, um, which was actually yesterday, it already started raining, super gloomy, and it is just muddy everywhere. So ideally, spearfishing and fishing are not the greatest and really not that fun this time of year anyway. So with that though, I have a few ideas in mind, how-to videos, tutorials, gear videos, things like that. But if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments. I'd like to help you guys out, um, provide some value to you guys. And actually, I am doing a little change up on my Patreon page. So if you guys wanna go check it out down below, give it a look. I'm really trying to provide a lot more value um, to you guys. This year, um, if you live in my area, the Patreon is definitely gonna be really helpful. I'm gonna be doing like underwater update videos at the jetties, so I'm actually gonna go to the jetties, dive in the water, and tell you guys what fish I see there and where I'm seeing these fish. So that's just one of the perks of the Patreon. If you go check it out, it'll list some of the other things down there as well. But with that, in this video, I'm actually gonna be including the tarpon trip I went on in June, so that was really fun. I've never posted it on the channel. So this is the time to see it right now. And along with that though, I did work this summer, like two and a half months on a charter boat, and I'm not really gonna include that stuff in the video here today, just because the footage is not really as good as say a video I went out and filmed for YouTube. So keep that in mind, and I think that's all I had. So let's get this video going. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm out here and I was about to stop and fish right here because the water is good, we got a lot of current. But I just look up and there is a ton of birds out here working towards the end of the jetty. Oh my gosh, look how clear this water is on this side. And the birds are going crazy down here at the end of the jetty. Look at this water clarity, man. Insanity. There's no one out here either. And uh, I'm just gonna wait for these birds to get a little bit closer. And we're gonna see if we can get a jack or a mac. I don't know. We're just gonna go. We're gonna try it out. I gotta put the camera down. This is crazy. There's one. That's a fish. We got one, guys. We got one. Wait for this wave. It's pulling pretty hard. This might be a jack. Holy crap. Oh shoot, he's pulling hard. Is this a jack? I feel like it could be a jack. He's fighting like one at least. Got him, got him, got him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Solo trip out here. Big old Jack Creval. I got me a Jack, man. Hook just came out. This is what I came out here for, man. Good old Jack Creval. <laughs> Look at that, dude. This is a big jack. He hit it right there by the rocks. He didn't feel huge at first, but he pulled some serious drag. I mean, look at this. Good fish. Heck yes. Whew. Whew. Uh oh, we gotta get out of here. You gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Oh, we lost him. Oh, he's on, he's on, oh my gosh. Oh shoot. Oh. We got a giant. I think he got hit by a shark. Holy crap. Oh, did y'all see that drag? 
We might have a... Oh my gosh! This is a huge jet, guys. He might have been hit by a shark. I don't know, I thought he got hit by a shark, but he hit this thing and ran so hard. My reel is not fully spooled, so I'm a little worried. I had to cinch down the drag. Really want to land this fish. He's running towards us now. This is a big jack. This thing fought way harder than that other one. No, 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 no. Gonna loosen up. He's right here at the rocks. Okay, okay, buddy. He ain't done. Oh my gosh. This might be a king. Could it be a king? Did y'all see the freaking surface? It's out there. He freaking busted the surface hard. I don't know what this is. Could be a king. No, that's a big old jack. And that's a king, baby. We got a kingfish. That's my first ever kingfish at the jetties. Bucket list fish. If I can get him up here. Oh my gosh. It's a king mackerel, ain't it? Heck yeah. That's a big boy. It's my first one. I haven't seen any of those out here. That was a smoker. <sighs> Whoa. That's a big king. Check this freaking out, man. Not long after we got that jack, I just pulled this beast kingfish in. I did not know what that fish was. He busted the surface hard and uh, I've never caught a kingfish, so I thought maybe like a shark hit this thing. First ever king mackerel at the jetties. A freaking pup, baby. Oh my gosh, this is a giant tarpon on the sea bill. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I had a feeling that was a cast, dude.
I slayed the Mac Daddy, baby. <laughs> Thank you, love. Oh, big. Bigger than anything in the boat, baby. Oh, shit. And I fought him on the way out, dude. I fought so hard to keep him from tangling. Give me that girl. He came up last second. Right before I was about, I just. Oh. I saw him and I was like, screw a right snapper, and I freaking nailed him. It was quick too, dude. How far down? Bottom. Where's all your color at, dude? That's a mangrove. That's a mangrove. This is the fish I have been looking for. I've seen him a few times, I think. Or at least his brother. Dude. That's a good way to end it. What did I say when I came up? <laughs> biggest fish of the day, man. My biggest mangrove snapper ever. I've seen a few like this, but we couldn't connect. Uh, I went down there. It was definitely a fight to get down, dude. Current is ripping. Breathing up is hard. Get down there, I don't see anything. Look over, in the middle of the rig, there's some mangrove snapper, and I think I actually see a red snapper, so I kind of start making my way that way I see a good shooter mangrove and then out of my corner of my eye my peripheral on the right side I see this freaking toad just come out and I'm just like oh my gosh that is the one and I lined up completely reached out my roller gun and uh, shot him dude and uh, I fought hard to keep him from tangling up because I did not want to go back down there and uh, have to un un unwrap this deal. But uh, look at that pretty fish. I'm pumped, man. Let's get this guy on ice. Snapper. Good morning. 
morning. We're out here at an offshore oil rig. Today's a little bit different. There's no customers in the boat. We finally got a day to come dive. Um, yesterday was a lot calmer. Got a little more wind and chop today. So that might make the diving a little bit harder. But I'm pretty pumped. We're gonna go try to shoot some mangrove snapper and whatever else is in there. Just gotta suit up and hop in. I watched him eat a piece and then swim it away and I was like, you know what? I have a big roller gun. I'm taking a long shot. <laughs> it's definitely all the way through. Like, oh. This line's all right. Damn. Pretty big one? Pretty fat one. It's the only one I saw. Dude, I saw a gnarly one. In the okay, I'm gonna <laughs> get a foot in the boat. That was the one I shot. I gotta see Dude, it. Dude, he's still running. So what do we have here? <laughs> well, I just shot a kingfish. First shot ever with my aim right double roller. Stuck it right in between the anal pin. So I think the shot is gonna hold. I got an eight mil shaft slip tip. She's still fighting. I almost spooled my boat reel. Yep. Yes, man. <laughs> this was the only kingfish we saw within, after, right after I loaded my gun, Blake just threw the chum in. The kingfish swims up. It's not bad. Look at the shot, the cable ripped hard. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> First king on the roller. First shot ever with the aim right double roller. He <laughs> got me a kingfish. Hit it right where I was aiming. Almost spool my belt reel. Good fish right there. All right, we just pulled up to these shrimp boats and we looked in the underside. There's a cobia. So I'm gonna get my stuff on. Ryan's gonna put us around. We're gonna spear him. Yeah.
<laughs> Just braining the sling. The thing that I shot off this shrimp boat. Put a good shot in his head, but I didn't stone him. So he put up a little fight. Should be good now. Big freaking crab eater right there. Gonna She'll be good. eat right there, man. Oh man. Come on. That's the first sling that I've hooked on a rod and reel. Thank you. Oh. Seventy three twelve fifty eight inches. Alright, so that about wraps up the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.